welcome to episode 12 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Wrexham. I might have been a bit unwell, but productivity did not stop. Oh no. Let's go into the squad hub. I think five of these players have been customized by patrons. Per part, Tobias uh, Tanner, now with a big beard. Here's Giacomo Cesarini. Usually I say no to mullets, but just seems like he rocks it, mate. Gwyn Throwing got customized. And down near last, but definitely not least, Alan Richards. Oh, oh, oh mate. I think the patrons have absolutely smashed it. Usually I would look at that and go, don't be ridiculous, but I can totally see it. I can totally see Alan Richards having that hairstyle. We're really up to speed with the player customizations, and it's surprising to know that someone like Ben Smacker has not been customized yet. He's just not been customized. So, if you've ever wanted to do something like that, and you've been thinking about adding your name to the patron list, you can customize him for like $2. $2 and you can customize him. Same goes for Antonio Rocco. No one's come forward to customize him yet. I mean, the customization is just the tip of the iceberg. Regardless if players have patron customization attached, we're bringing in dynamic hairstyles to the series. So players will grow, style, cut their hair at random. Ben Smacker here, he's slightly grown his out. But for the likes of Danny Bins, it's a much smaller detail. He just hasn't had a shave for a couple of days. I'm not going to point all the changes out. There's been about 10 in total, okay? Some of them, like Spencer Nielsi, are so minute, but it gives the save so much more personality if these players just evolve with time. So, in terms of improvements, we've got plus one potential for Wesley Purpart after being named player of the episode last episode. Congratulations to him. And then just hand out galores for the keeper. Plus one diving, reflexes, reactions, composure. Plus two on penalties. Absolute hero already for this football. Ball club. Cesarini got plus one strength, aggression, crossing, and defensive awareness. Danny Bins has plus one interceptions, composure, slide tackle, and standing tackle. Gwyn Froin got plus one balance. Antonio Rocco with the plus one sprint speed and plus one crossing. Richards collected plus one ball control, heading accuracy, balance, and attack positioning. Benchmacker awarded plus one short passing and plus one crossing. Miller earned plus one long pass and plus one standing tackle. Sorry, Dari with that beautiful final goal that we scored last episode. Improved one in ball control and volleys. Bit blue for assisting that. Got plus one crossing. And now we are going to hear from Posh Katsi. Hello there, Posh Katsi here. We're going to have a scouting free-for-all. Spiffing, spiffing, spiffing. Rob and Ryan can afford it, can't they? Ha <laughs> ha, toodles! Yeah, the interest from my patrons choosing which countries to scout has been rather overwhelming. And at this current rate, we're not going to get through all of them, which I, I find quite unfair. So we are just going to go frantic, possibly until the end of this first season to try and just get as many of those rewards covered. Like, youth players coming in first season will always have a greater opportunity to grow into decent players than those that drop into the, say, three, four years down the line when we're already, say, an established championship club. We'll be searching loads of countries, all for physically stronger players, because I don't think they're too overpowered in terms of overall. We kept on searching Kazakhstan and returned to Australia and Argentina for this first set of scout reports. Australia and Kazakhstan did not bring back anything just yet, but in Argentina, we do have a rather mental player. Cheers, Tony Pritchard. I know this lad's overall range is astronomical. And I should usually go crazy at this point. But I know that his overall is 65. Flavio Levia a 1.3 million pounds valuation. I'm just really excited for the combination of pace and physicality, but it is in a very competitive spot. Spencer Neal and Cesarini already established left backs. Don't worry, we're on the hunt for great names as well. It's not only the best overall players that will sign. Shout outs to Tony Pritchard, by the way. Go to scout. If Posh Kutzi ever gives me the opportunity to improve his quality to five star, five stars, I will bite his hand. And off. Looking at the table, we are bottom, but it's rosier, isn't it? Newport County, they've played a game more, and they're only six points ahead of us. It's Grimsby away next. They play in a 4-1-4-1 or 4-5-1 formation. They're currently hovering around the playoff spot, so they're doing rather well this season. Collect the trophies! Way! Yes, can confirm myself that playstyle plus has 
happen way more frequently on Youth Academy players now, which is a fantastic bit of news. But instead of offering random playstyles, I did get a good comment that suggested to only offer playstyle pluses as a replacement to the player's current playstyles, if that makes sense. For instance, Yoko would be eligible for like first touch plus because he's already got first touch playstyle. And that's what I think will be on offer for this first match. It's first touch plus for Yoko if he can successfully trap 15 long balls through the air. I'm gonna spam that like crazy. It's Grimsby against Wrexham. Yeah, so it's a large amount, but it is totally achievable. It's quite an easy request. There's one. Basically, every single attack, we need to go down that side. Don't forget, we are obviously trying to win the game as well, so we will be losing the ball quite frequently. I'm not just gonna add a playstyle plus for the sake of it. That's our third successful track. Doing good so far, only 12 minutes in. It's great work by Neves. Absolutely hounding that Grimsby player. Fantastic stuff. Tomoharu Ioka to Alan Richards. Oh, somehow stays on his feet. It's incredible by Alan Richards, who's trying to go all the way. Could he have slipped into Antonio Rocca? I don't know. Antonio Rocca has not given this one up. Eastwood, look at the press. Oh, yes, press. No interception there by Danny Bins, and we have got incredibly narrow here. Dangerous. But Danny Bins, lovely touch. Danny Bins out of position. He's got back, bless him. Well played, mate. It's actually really difficult to purposefully get the ball to Ioka on a long pass. Maybe it's because of his height. I don't know. The formation probably doesn't help. Here we go. Okay, we got number five in. Miller on the overlap. Alan Richards with acres. Go on, Alan Richards. All by himself. He'll have the strength, but he won't have the finish. That'll be number seven. Get there for number eight. Lovely finish. First touch, Tomoharu Yoka. He's played the ball into Dari. Oh, ne oh, the referee has absolutely killed us there. Never spotted the run of Antonio Rocco, but the referee has called half time. Good news, Yoka is well on pace here. Eight out of 15 completed in 45 minutes. Says Arini switch. How about that? Oh, lovely touch, Yoka. Rose trying to make space, but Benz Macca back in a defensive role. Her part called into action for like the third time today. It's been relatively comfortable. Oh, Owen, can Danny Bins find it? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. There's number 13. It's great defensive work. Light years from the start of the season. There's Green with the opener and maybe the killer. Grimsby Town have the lead. It's not perfect from per part. We need two long passes to Ioka in 10 minutes. Number 14. Get it back to Danny Bins. Ioka will be there out wide. Just need to control this. Gets tackled in the process. I'm not giving him that one. Here's Neves. This will be number 15 for sure. And Ioka has a playstyle plus. Well played, my guy. Now crossing. Miller. Chance. Benz Macca off target. That would have been double delight. I think you have to put it down as a per part mistake. That's full time. It's our 1 0 loss. We are still struggling to find anything from Kazakhstan and Australia, but a nice little find here. Tony Pritchard, once again, giving us the goods. United States, as requested by Clastro, coughs us up Joseph Tambora, an American with Guam dual nationality. Tony Pritchard just flexing his muscles. Tambora's a 60 overall. After giving us Flavio Levia at 65 overall, we'll promote him. Maybe the best scout that we've ever had. So it's a home match against Crawley next. They're in 17th, which is not that far ahead of us, until you realise that they've accumulated double the amount of points. <laughs> hey, our goal difference is minus 69. Nice. They play in a 3-5-2, and it's time to collect the trophies. All right, that's press proven on Rocco, Williams, and Dari. And we are going to try and add press proven permanently on Luke Williams. If it can turn out a trouble and pass forward three times in this game, Wrexham against Crawley Town. Dari over the top. Onside, Ben Smacker. Taking it early. What a goal by Ben Smacker. Oh, my word. That's right. It's Benzmaker, I mean, absolutely outrageous.
Rangers. That was optimistic at best. What's the goalkeeper doing? He was just caught off guard. What's a finish then? Goal of the series maybe has just happened. Big time Ben Smacker. Hair in the eyes doesn't affect him. That was just meant to be a sighter. Keep the goalkeeper on the toes, you know what I mean? I always do sighters at the start. Try and get set early. I don't really expect them to go in. He genuinely is a little genius, that fella. <laughs> Chance for Purple Heart to make a save. It has dropped straight back to Campbell. 1-1. One, one. I've just seen that our new lad has got some kind of playstyle plus. Intercept plus and whip pass. Very nice indeed. Levia does seem like a very, very solid left back option. I mean, you've got to really wait in line, to be honest. That's going to be a hell of a rotation job between him, Spencer, Neal and Cesarini. Pressure. Good turn by Williams. Now just needs a forward pass. That's two. Lots of pressure here. Williams surely turns out of trouble and passes in for press proven. Well played. He's now got it permanently and it will make him a monster, I'm sure. Dory! I think this second goal is more likely to come from Crawley Town. Oh, it's a good ball. Triore's not marked it up properly. Front post shot. i got to be real with you. I don't think the goalkeeper's covered it properly. But then again, when have we ever seen it being covered properly this series? Never. Look at the amount of space that he's left wide open there. Damn, are we really going to have Ben Smacker score that goal for absolutely nothing? Can't believe it. After that insane start, we've hardly done anything in attack. Bike heel. Into Campbell. Another front post shot has been rifled into the top corner. Lovely turn by Dari, but we can't get another attack in its full time here. It's incredibly disappointing, to be honest. Really, really poor by Wrexham. And more gutting the fact that Ben Smacker's wonder goal doesn't really mean much. At the start of the episode, I was quite worried that Perpart might get too many player of the episode wins. But what we've seen so far, it's not been too good from the Norwegian goalkeeper. I'm sounding like a bit of a broken record here. Nothing in Kazakhstan, nothing in Australia, but Tony Pritchard, now in Greece, thanks to Sam, has brought back two players that we could be, you know, seriously interested in. Alexandros Kanalis, max potential of 90, £450,000 valuation. And then down at the bottom, Andreas Philokouris. Try and get your tongue around that one. Valuation at 525k. I think they're both good enough to keep a closer eye on in the youth academy. So we're going to sign both on this occasion. Tony Pritchard is putting Rolly Sepp to shame here. Okay, big game at the foot of the table. Newport County have pulled out a 10 point gap at this moment in time. But they've played a game more and we got a home fixture again. Them. They've got a narrow diamond in midfield. We know what we do when they pack the midfield. It's all about wing play. Get as many players as wide as possible. Levia Cesarini might be the call as the wing backs. Surely with this team, we're going to absolutely smash it. Cesarini doesn't have a play style yet. We'll go for the whip pass play style if he can assist from a cross. Wrexham against Newport. Straight down to business. Come on, let's get on with it. Alan Richard just sets up Antonio Rocca. Not seen enough production from Antonio Rocca recently. There's Dari scoring Nelly on for Exum. Come on. Exactly what we needed. These guys are there for the taking. We have to win. Just to theoretically not get relegated at the end of the season. No other result is acceptable. This is going over the head of Cesarini. But it's easy for Purple Heart. Great turn by Alan Richards. Keeps the strength. It's a beautiful pass. Sorin Dari might be in again. He's killing it at the moment. Roulette spin. Another through ball. Dari almost found that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Let's make a quick break for it. Fantastic through ball by Antonio Rocco, who's having a great game. This is Alan Richards. What a showing by the forward so far. I wish we had as much happening on the right hand side so we could try and swing in some crosses with Cesarini it's all going down the left Antonio Rocco is destroying Newport Ioka and Cesarini need to pull the finger out a little bit where's Cesarini? Swing it in it's not bad Still counting it. Bang, there you go. Whip cross, Cesarini. Neves kept the ball alive. And Antonio Rocca, for all his efforts today, fully deserves that. He has just been a constant threat. Neves put that on a plate. Beautiful chip up. 
So much space here. Our header's broken. Our defence, great save. Purple Heart keeps his clean sheet and that should be enough. What a fantastic display all around from Wrexham. That is what we're talking about. Goodness knows what Alan Richards was doing right at the end of that game. He was sprinting off to probably the away end to have some with the Newport fans. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Purple Heart's purpose? No more Tobias Tanner. Glorious purpose. Now, if we win the game in hand, we're only four points behind the team that we've just comfortably beaten. Watching the cutsy Tobias Tanner relationship feels like a friend who just can't quite leave his terrible girlfriend. Well, it seems like Wesley Purpleheart, 10 out of 10 stunner, came along and, you know, made the breakup quite easy. Mickey says that Antonio Rocker's name should really be Anthony Rocker because of the Catalan language. Probably gonna get that changed. And how about this for potentially the creepiest comment that I've ever received. Dino Juventino says, can you marry me? I want to be married by you. Ugh. Sorry? No? There's plenty more fish in the sea. All right, this being Cutsy, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. Still suffering a little bit with like a chesty cough, not much more. We're all golden, we're all grand. Crack on with more recordings this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. If you've not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side. Look, I've updated it. This list has grown so much. I am so humbled, honestly. Legends supporting me on Patreon and helping out financially. I will see you next time, but until then, you take care. Bye-bye.